Hello guys, Gene here with G-Squared Tactical. We got another Taurus out here. Just got finished shooting the Taurus 44 Mag. I full well expect this one to hit a lot less hard. So uh, maybe it'll be, well, I had fun shooting the 44 Mag, but uh, Trey, he got definitely got the sugar shakes. I ain't sure what, what was going on, but man, if y'all ain't seen that video, definitely <laughs> check that out. Cause it, uh, it got the boy to shaking pretty good. Um, so this is the Taurus. This is the Tracker 692. Has the nine millimeter cylinder with it. We're gonna start out putting some uh, 357 through this thing. And what uh, what brand is this 357? I think I threw the box. Remington is the right. No, this is Federal. Oh, Federal. So I was looking at this green box. Yeah, we got some federal. Yeah, we're gonna do this Remington here as well. Um, I don't know, oh yeah, I threw it over here. Let me go get it right there. Um, everybody always likes to know what we're putting through the thing. So I don't know why I threw it away. Got a 158 grain, 357, Magnum. That's about 80 grains less than the 44. Soft point here, definitely, uh, yeah, a little less hard. Hey, listen, man, we got we got ourselves seven rounds. So again, we're gonna try for accuracy. That's kind of what we come out to do. And we're at about 16 yards. I'm gonna shoot at a double action because I've been told if you don't shoot at a double action, it's because you can't shoot. Done very well with the 44 Magnum. See how we do double action, 357 Taurus Tracker, 692, about 16 yards away. I wonder if that plastic orange will come off sticker they put on there will fly off on this one. Maybe if it does, it'll pick up for camera. You know, my tracker 44, my blued one come flying off. Maybe that's cause the 44 was hitting so hard. crazy thing is I missed four out of the seven but the three I hit was almost dead sitting there I don't know now, we just got finished shooting the 44 May 50 rounds of it so uh, you might have to give us a little bit of a break you, you know I don't know if I can give a fair comparison as to how the recoil is because uh, again we just shot that 44 mag snub no not gonna lie my elbow's hurting a little bit. And so, uh, <laughs> this feels like I'm shooting a 22 mag, maybe. Let me just put it into perspective for them. The, my favorite part of that last video we filmed, shooting that 44, was watching you shoot better than me. You know. So, let's do a single action here, see if I can be a little more accurate. A little, a little low. Well, the good thing is on this one, we have uh, adjustable sight. So, uh, you know, if we have to, we can adjust the sights a little bit. So uh, we're nope. go definitely gonna make sh uh, Trey, I know he don't want to cause he just got punished by the 44 Magnum, <laughs> but uh, listen, we can't hardly find some of this revolver ammunition. And of course, if we're gonna carry these guns, we wanna hold on to them, uh, some of them anyway, for our own defense rounds. So we are really limited to what we could shoot. We, we absolutely wish that we could come out here and shoot you know, a couple hundred rounds through these things, but the best we have to offer today is about 175 or so at best. So anyway, put a few more rounds of 357 down. I think I'm gonna shut the camera off and see if maybe you can't adjust the sight a little bit. I think maybe I've got the rear sight down to 
too low. And then we're going to put, put a uh, tray back on it. Let's do a little rapid shooting here. You're definitely going to have more fun overall shooting this than you did the, uh, the 44, guaranteed. <laughs> All right, let's get Trey loaded up and get him on. Trey's playing with his watch. Well, just... I'm trying to check my EKG, ECGs, stuff like that, make sure that my body's okay because I'm doing all this <laughs> from that 44. I'm just trying to check my hey, You ain't going to be the same the rest of the day, are you? Something's off. And it's not good, okay? <laughs> Something is way off. That 44 um, mag done messed my man up. That, that 44 mag was nothing to play with. It is not something you want to get your kid for Christmas. Let me just tell you that right now. If that's why you're watching this video, get him a 22. Holy crap. <laughs> well, you're on the 357 now, so it's going to be like shooting a 22 mag, you know? <laughs> I hope it is, um, especially in comparison. Um, like you said, I think we shot a 457 Casul. Was that the name of the round? And it no, a 454 even... and a 4570. It, it didn't, didn't seem even to hit that hard. Well, they were bigger guns too, but I'll take that though. Holy crap! <laughs> I, did, I mean, everything came back okay. Resting heart rate 61, so I guess we're good. Um, yeah, that ain't bad. EKG come back all right. Oxygen look good. Yes, 98 percent. Okay, good. Good. Um, but we're still doing this you know okay yeah you'll be fine i don't know you'll be let's fine. see what we got it'll um, work itself out i guess we got to go with the double action because you can't shoot yeah. single yeah. action right Maybe right right, right. Now. you know seven rounds the more right. you mess around the more you find out here we go <laughs> uh-oh okay Not bad. Definitely shot better with it than you did the... I like this gun a lot better <laughs> than the 44. Holy crap. Um, yeah. A lot more easy to manage the recoil, but I'll tell you this. Like, whenever I was shooting that, I don't know what it is about this gun, but whenever you pull that trigger, the recoil kind of resets you right back where you want to go. It doesn't really um, make you want to, you know, reset life like the 44 mag did. <laughs> You know, but but I felt like the trigger was smoother on the 44 Magnum. It's like I don't know. I shot really well with the 44 Magnum, did. and so you know, you know how it is. Anytime you shoot great with something, it makes you makes it makes you, you like, you like it, it a lot more. You know, right? Yeah, I I agree with that. And um, again, we've had so many people bash or heard so many other reviews bashing Taurus revolvers, and yes, we have bashed Taurus in our ourselves in the past with their semi-automatics and such but again even back when we were having problem with those we've never had an issue with you still got that shake going on though i wish i could say it was a sugar shake. never had issues with taurus revolvers have always been flawless for us so yeah and we've I put a been. lot of rounds down range with taurus revolvers way more than probably every other brand combined yeah you know, but but like you said, to your point of the whole, um, you know, you like something better when you shoot well with it, Canic. We shoot great with Canics, and we love them because of it. Right. So I guess everything was double action. So you're going to do single now? We're going to do single, but we're one-handing it. Okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Because... So you're getting bold now. The arm's already jacked, jacked up two times. Why not? I tell you what, you only hit three, but they hit dead in the center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think if I'm being honest with you, the other ones um, could have been in the center. I think that this gun is very accurate when you point it where you want to shoot and you hold it steady. I think if we had this on a vice and we're just pulling the trigger, taking us out of the equation, it'd be a super accurate gun. See if gun. you can do like what I did and uh, see how you feel about I felt like that, you know, I shot the, I don't know if that's seven or not, maybe. 
But you know, I shot the 44 mag rapid and certainly I'm sure that the recoil had something to do with it, but that one definitely seemed way more fun. Certainly seemed like you could stay on target better. Yeah, with, more of a range toy. Yeah, with the uh, with that one versus the other one, the I 44 you, mag. I don't know what it is about guns, but ones that look better, I feel like I can shoot better with. And I love this cylinder so much more than that 44. I just love a full... It's a uh, yes, yeah, un unfluted, unfluted cylinder. Unfluted yeah. cylinder, like yeah. it is just I don't know. That's just my preference. So what what was it that what's the challenge I'm accepting now? Just I I don't all oh, rapid fire, not from a single action though, double action. Okay. Just you know, Are as fast as you to can hit get. Anything? It. Just get it. Nah, okay. just get it. I mean, try to shoot something. Oh, okay. That ain't bad. <laughs> I tell you what, that's a lot more fun than, uh, you know, a gun you can't hit. So we've got 50 of the 357, got four more left. Might as well just polish them on and off, I mean, because we want, to, so. we want to get uh, as many rounds through it as possible. People like to see see it function, see it shoot, because we still got some 38 special. We got to get through it and some nine. There you go. There you go. Is that picking up on camera? I mean, I, I'm sure. Because I swear to y'all, like, <laughs> I am not making that up. That is legitimate, unfortunately. Yeah, revolvers, big revolvers are typically not range toys. And we don't shoot many of them, no, so we, we don't. don't have the uh, the muscles that have been torn down and rebuilt from other <laughs> shot. <laughs> you know, you should have brought, brought a protein drink or something. <laughs> something. Raw protein. I got a monster recovery, but it is not recovering. A enough. smoothie. <laughs> Let me get on some of this 38 special right quick. See how Ooh, it shoots. That might be even more fun. Has less recoil, I'm assuming. Yeah. No question about it. Let's test it out. See what she's got. That oh. was a lot of fun. Trey likes this one better. I think I know why. It's not necessarily because he was more accurate with it or anything. It's certainly because uh, it's uh, tearing his muscles down a lot less. Now, oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll pick him up. What an idiot. <laughs> so, that's some expensive ammo to be dropping on the ground there. You'll have that on them big anyway, jobs. We got seven shots. I'm only going to put seven of the 38 special. We don't want the uh, video to be so long that uh, people lose interest, but just kind of want to see how much less the recoil is. Sure, it'll be a heck of a lot less. And uh, maybe the adjustments that I made for the 357 might not be, might be different now. And that's the thing about having a revolver that you can change out the cylinder, shoot different calibers. You know, if you adjust the sights for one caliber, it might not be the same for, for the next. So. Let's see if I'm right about that. Here again, about 15, 16 yards. I'm just going to shoot these for accuracy, so I'm going to shoot them from a single action. Um, the trolls can get us later. It's fine. They'll, they'll get us. Oh, man, that's like a 22. That's what I like to hear. Sights are definitely off. had to aim really really low to get on it but again we adjusted the target for the 357 so if you enjoyed it before you'll definitely enjoy it now <laughs> that 38 special is nothing man you think the nine will be even less oh god yeah yeah of course yeah. heck yeah um so i said i wasn't going to i'm gonna do some rapid hey listen man these these rounds right here you got some dirt on ultimate get, test hey listen we get torture test up in here that's right huh that's right that's right so uh do a little rapid with the 38 special that was fun i'm not going to adjust the sights back for the 38 special because if i ever carry this i'm going to carry the 357 i might make an adjustment to it for when we shoot the nine here in a second but uh this is seven rounds fast i can shoot it I don't know if I'll be able to shoot it as fast as Trey did, though. <laughs> Trey pulled that off. 
But I have no shake, though. <laughs> so, you know. That was pretty quick. Tore that target up a few times. You did. I like it now. It's not bad. <laughs> so, we have some of this uh, 357 Remington 125 green. Golden Saber, they call it. Got some uh, jacketed hollow points there. We have not put any hollow points through it. This is likely what I'll carry. If I were to carry this gun, I would probably carry this as my defensive round. So they always say, shoot what you're gonna carry in the gun. Hopefully I can hit the center of that target like I was before because again, we have the 357 Magnum here and that's what I originally adjusted the sights for. So see what we got from a double action. Definitely when I slowed it down, it was hitting the dead center of the target. So it's definitely on for the uh, 357 mag. So anyway, what what we do? What we do, Trey? Um, we did. We shot the 357 FMJs. We did about uh, 38 special. We put 14 of those through there. We put seven of those. That's 21. I can't remember. Did we do all of the federal? It's been uh, about 70, 75 rounds or so. Enough to see whether or not it needs a break-in period. I seen one on the ground here. So uh, certainly got to go ahead and shoot that. Don't want to waste. No, we don't want to waste. Get this uh, sucker one-handed, you know. Oh. Heck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, let's get this nine millimeter. Oh, let's just so, show them how easy it is to do that. Just push this button here as we showed in the tabletop. Slide it right out. Slide your uh, nine millimeter in there. Hey man, that was so easy, we don't even have to cut. Easy to clean too. What are we shooting here? Some of that nine, mmm. Nine, mmm. We got us some nine, mmm here. We got some blazer brass, 115 green. Nothing real special. I wanted to do this off camera because I feel pretty strongly that uh, it's probably not going to hit anywhere near that target because the uh, velocities and grain and everything is going to be different. So uh, I was going to adjust the sights off target, I mean adjust the sight off camera, but uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and see what we got for because we want them to see the first shots with the nine millimeter. I don't know why I'm loading this thing up like this. That 44's got y'all jacked up. Right here looking like a water heater. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> let's do single action nine millimeter. That ought to be fun. That'll be a fun rapid fire too. I think so. Yeah. It's be fun. And, and the cylinder's cold. I wonder why. Oh, we hadn't shot it. Yet. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll adjust the sights for Trey so he can he can look like a a, a real champion out here today. <laughs> Let's do that. All right, we got our nine millimeter loaded up here. Got the sights, yeah, mostly dialed in. It's unfortunate because, like I said, I would carry it with the 357, so I'll have to readjust after we get done here. But that's fine. So, gonna shoot the nine millimeter. Gonna shoot it from a double action. Definitely gonna try to shoot for accuracy, of course. So far, we've put about 70 so rounds of 38, 357, 357 jacketed hollow point. Now we're gonna get some nine millimeter. We've got the Blazer Brass, 115 grain. So far, had no issues. Trey loves it. Really, really light recoil, even on the 357. So let's shoot the double action here.
definitely a lot more fun to shoot. No question about that. It's very accurate. Yeah. And uh, very accurate. Let's see if I can get it on that target. Yeah. So that right target. We're gonna let Trey shoot a little bit. I think he's uh, recoil less than 38 special. He's almost done with his with his 44 shakes. So I wish, but I have the I have PTSD. Oh, you have PTSD now. Yeah, uh, I'm not joking about that, but it is one of the one of the uh, contributing factors to how I have been shooting. But I think it's starting to wear off. Three, four, five, six, seven. I like the capacity of these cylinders. How they're a little bit larger than your standard um, revolver. I was intrigued by the different caliber. You know, having the extra the extra cylinder and everything like that but it, but as far as having to adjust the sights i'm not sure how i feel about that which of course i mean because if i decided maybe my wife wanted to carry this or something in her jeep and she wanted to carry the nine millimeter then i don't have a range out behind the house so i wouldn't be able to adjust the sights accordingly um and because like i say if i carried it's going to be the 357 so I don't know how I feel about that, but either way, still awesome. Yeah, very sweet little pistol. Let's see how she shoots. I guess I'll go for the less shot up target on the left. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the right target. <laughs> I will say this, I'm very happy about that orange sight, how it hadn't fallen off. Yeah, it hadn't so, flung off. Yeah. Um, Let's I look mean, at the target. Well, that's impressive. I say we look at the target, but it's kind of like you said, all shot up, so we ain't going to know where it was at anyway. Well, that's all right. I mean, you know, I think I shot decent with it. I think I still shot a little bit better with the. I didn't shoot the 38 special. I think I shot better with the 357, if that makes any sense. Um, I guess we'll put seven more through it. Yeah, might as well. You Four, know, I want to give five, them, six, give them the money's worth. Seven. Yeah. You know, make sure we get plenty of rounds through it. You know, they always say we don't shoot it enough. I had, uh, I had a lot of fun rapid firing that 357. So it should be even more fun with the nine. It should be, should be, but there's always that what if it's not, you know. But we're about to find out. Did you get them all? I got seven. Sure. Hundred percent. Oh, you counted them all? I count. Well, that's what they did back in the Western days, and I've been training myself to do that. Hey, man. I'll sit at home, and I'll train my train myself. You know. So. It's just kind of what I do. Well, what do you want to do? You want to shoot it some more? Uh. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the 357 back in there, and let me, uh, here let me you are. Show you how easy it is, guys. Gene yeah, show, shows show you. Him. But I'm about to show you too. Yeah, he said he's gonna. Oh, okay. It literally just slides right out. He struggled a little bit. I didn't. I'll be honest. I didn't pay attention when you were doing it. Oh, so all I, I knew was to press a button. It's a problem. See. I didn't even have to look at an owner's manual or nothing to change that thing out. It was easy as Yeah, because I was his owner's manual. <laughs> <laughs> that cylinder is hotter than most of them that we've been shooting, which is odd because 9mm would, in my opinion, not get as hot as like a 44 would. Yeah, so what I want to do is, is since, like I said, this would be the ammunition that I would be carrying, I kind of sort of know what adjustments I made when I had the 357 in there, so I'm gonna try to get it back there. Um, don't. Don't take your word for it? Yeah, don't do that. Because uh, got a 357. This is what I'm gonna be carrying if I choose to carry this gun. So I just wanna be certain that you know, it's back on target. You know, you definitely want it to be as accurate as possible. I'm going to check that from a single action here. 
where you think that went. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Trey never watched. <laughs> I wasn't watching. <laughs> Trey, Trey don't watch. I'll be honest. At least he's honest about it, though. I could lie and tell you it went way, way high. Yeah. Or, it, or it went in the dirt, you know? I guess, maybe. What adjustment did you make? Height or side to side? Well, so I the tried. viewers can know, because they'll have to do the same thing. I tried to put it back where I thought it was before, but uh, I don't think that worked out if I'm being on. Right. So, let's try it again. I'll watch this time. How's that? Yeah. How's that, pal? How's that? Huh? How's that, pal? Yeah, and you don't like let's, it. Let's go for the smaller target here, since we got a tree in the background to catch it. I want to say you hit low because of how the target moved when you hit it. Ah, uh, you don't know. <laughs> I saw some tree come off. I'd say you're probably right. I'd say I probably hit low. Anyway, we're going to get this straightened out off camera. Taurus tracker, 692, 9mm cylinder. This thing has had a lot of attention, a lot of views on the tabletop and stuff. People claiming they have a hard time finding it. And the price tag that's on there, I think I saw some folks on there say they, they paid in upwards of eight or nine hundred dollars for this thing. I got it way, way cheaper than that. Somewhere a little over six, I believe. But if you can pick this up for a reasonable price, you can find it, you want it, nostalgic thing for you. Can't recommend it enough. We love Taurus revolvers. I'm sure there are better ones out there if you want to pay $1,300, $1,400. But as a semi, I say semi because you got charter arms and a couple other ones, but for a semi budget friendly revolver, we can't say enough good things about all the Taurus revolvers we've ever shot. So definitely can't, can't recommend it enough. Very accurate, very fun to shoot. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, share it, set your alerts. Make sure you subscribe so we can keep doing this and have a great day.